welcome back to my channel. I don't have a really fun intro, but I definitely think that I need one. So I know it's not Thursday, and I also know it's not Sunday, but I was tagged to do a really fun challenge by Ty Levi, and it is the emoji challenge. So I know this is like a newer challenge, so if you're unfamiliar with what it is, basically it is a tag that Trey Savon created, and you pick five emojis that represent you, and you talk about them. YouTube, am I right? I completely overanalyzed this tag, and that my green personality is coming out. If you don't know what the green personality is, then I highly suggest you guys Google it and take a personality test, whether you're blue, orange, green, or gold, and then you can see what personality you are, and then you can like pinpoint what other people are. It's like addicting, and it's really fun. So this is my first emoji. It is the stargazing emoji, or the universe emoji. I picked this one because the universe completely baffles my mind. I don't understand in the least bit how in the world we are this planet that is in a solar system that is rotating around a star and how it's in another bigger universe and how it's in like this big black thing that just is there and it has all these black holes and like stars and other galaxies and there's an end to it and it's just white. I, I just, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. So I love thinking about the universe because it like gets my ears going. The green personality is coming out again. I also really like it because it's really calming and really relaxing to me. Oftentimes I go to fields. What else are you going to do in Pennsylvania? There's only fields here. And I'll go with either a group of friends or by myself. And I will go and I will just look at stars. I'll do this on my driveway. I'll do it in the basin of my neighborhood. Really just anywhere that I can see the stars, I will be at just watching them. I also heard that in Italy and Spain the stars are unreal. So that's really the only reason that I ever want to go to Europe is to look at the stars. The next emoji is a journal. Now there wasn't a journal emoji, you also would have put the journal emoji, there's just a notebook, but moving on. I picked this emoji because I love to journal. I pick new journals out maybe like once a month because I just love feeling inspired by new journals, new notebooks. Journaling is a really nice mental escape from everything. I literally write every single thing down in my journal from what happened when I woke up to the second I'm writing in that journal. The best time is when it's like Tumblr time and you know what I'm talking about. I really like journaling though because I really can be honest with myself, which is something that when I'm thinking to myself or talking to myself, I'm not always honest, but when I write it down, I am, and I think being honest with yourself is something that everyone needs to do, and I find it easiest to do when I'm writing. The next emoji is music, and I think that a lot of people are picking the music emoji, which is really cool because it shows that we are all one world of music. But the reason why I picked this one is because I absolutely love listening to music. And I will listen to any and all types of music except country. Sorry, country lovers. It's just not my thing. My favorite types of music are lo-fi and alternative, but I also listen to really, really sad, depressing songs all the time. Right now, I'm loving Rocket Man and Slow It Down by the Lumineers. I'm gonna have my Spotify and SoundCloud linked down below if you guys wanna see it. My sad playlist on um, Spotify is called Tumblr, just so you guys know, and then my like, lo-fi music on Spotify is called trivia -ish. The next emoji that I picked was a car emoji because I have my license and I have my car and I'm in love. I chose this one specifically though because I love driving. Do I like driving my friends everywhere? No, not really. But I love driving in general. But just when I need to clear my head, I get in my car and I drive around until my head is clear. I listen to music, I block everything out, I just focus on the road, focus on the music, and just kind of let myself, I was going to say self-medicate, but I don't think that sounds right. And the final emoji that I picked is the side emoji. And I picked this because I think every now and then everyone needs a good roast. And I personally love a roast, whether it's on me because I poke fun of myself so much or if it's like a sarcastic comment that I hear and I think of like a really good witty comeback. The cyber emoji just goes off my mind I have to be asked of it when it's actually happening in real life and it's like between me and my friends I can siren roast them real fast. I just, I love it. I think the siren emoji is so fun and it just symbolizes my sarcastic sassy attitude towards life. So yeah guys, that is my overanalyzed emoji challenge. I really hope you all enjoyed this video, but don't leave yet because I didn't tag anyone yet. So I tagged the Berry Twins and Hannah Gogan to do this video, but I think I was supposed to tag three people, but I can't think of a third person to tag. So I tagged you watching this video. Yes, 
want. Yeah, you, yep, you. I tag you to do it. If you can't make videos, then be sure to let me know in the comments down below what emojis you guys chose. But if you do make a video, please tweet it to me so I can see it. I absolutely love watching you guys' videos. I hear one of you all the time. It's not even funny. But yeah, other than that, I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click subscribe right down there. And also don't forget to watch this video right over there. It's a really good one and you probably don't want to miss it. So I'll talk to you guys on Thursday in my next video. Bye!